What's up guys? It's me, iPinoy Phone. Right now, I'm backing up my iPad because later, I will attempt to jailbreak my iPad on firmware 4.2.1 untethered using the new Red Snow 0.9.7 Beta 5. So yeah, I will be right back when this is all done. Okay guys, the backup is complete. And now, I'm ready to jailbreak my iPad. According to the reports, this will fix the Bluetooth issue that we had on the last jailbreak where the Bluetooth appears to be unavailable. So I have to unjailbreak again because I want to use my iPad's Bluetooth. So let's see if it works now. Okay, first let's load up Red Snow 0.9.6 Beta 4. Then browse to the original 4.2.1 firmware for the iPad. Remember, before doing this, you have to update the new iTunes and that you have the 4.2 Beta 3 save in Cydia. Here it is. Let's click open. Just wait until it gets recognized. Okay, now let's click this. Here, let's just choose Install Cydia, then click Next. Now, we have to turn the device off and put it into DFU mode. So here's my iPad. Let's turn this off. When it's completely off, just press Next on the screen, then follow the prompts. Press and hold the Sleep button, then press the Home button together with the Sleep button. Then let go of the sleep button while still pressing the home button. As soon as exploiting with Lime Rain comes up, that's the time to let go of the home button. There we go. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but it always worked for me. And now it's installing bundles in my iPad. When Red Snow appears as done, just close it. Let's close this one also. Let's just wait until this is done. There's the running pineapple logo. That means it's still breaking my iPad right now. So, I'll just come back later when this is all done. Okay, now my iPad is booting up. So, at this point, the Cydia will appear as a white icon. Don't panic because it's expected. Next, we will repeat the whole process. Let's browse to the original 4.2.1 firmware. Click next here. Then here, uncheck install Cydia. Then choose this one, just untethered right now. Now we have to turn off the iPad and enter DFU mode again. As soon as the iPad is completely off, click next on the screen and again, just follow the prompts. Press the sleep button, then press the home button together with the sleep button. Then let go of the sleep button while still pressing the home button. Then let go of the home button as soon as exploiting with Lime Rain comes up. And there we go. As you can see, the iPad is booting up with the pineapple logo, so that's a good sign. Again, just close down Red Snow and the other folders when it's done. So, I'll just come back when this is all done.
Ok So here is Cydia which now looks normal At this point I have a tether jailbreak Now we will do the untether jailbreak using the new Red Snow 0.9.7 beta 5 then browse to the iPad's original 4.2.1 firmware, click open, and once it gets recognized, click this. Then here, choose this one, jailbreak monte, then a pop-up will appear. It's just a little warning to not pirate the 4.2 beta 3 file, but whatever. Now let's browse to the 4.2 beta 3 file. Click open. Again, uncheck install Cydia, then click next. So once again, let's turn off the iPad and put it into the FU mode. Click next. When it's completely off, then just follow the prompts. Press and hold the sleep wake button. Then press and hold the home button together with the sleep button. Then let go the sleep button. And once exploiting with lime rain comes up, let go of the home button. And there we go. So let's just wait until the jailbreaking process is complete. Once again, don't do this jailbreak if you don't have the SHSH blob saved for 4.2 beta 3 in Cydia. Also, just follow what I did and you're good. Just comment down below and I will try and help you out if I can. And lastly, please subscribe to my channel because I, I will really appreciate that. So, I'll just come back when this is all done. Okay, now my iPad is booting up. Just close Red Snow when it says done, as well as this one. Alright. Here's the moment of truth. Here's Cydia. But let's check the Bluetooth first. And there it is. The Bluetooth is on. So yeah, this jailbreak does work. Now let's load up Cydia. Oops. Let's try this again. Let's choose developer. Then 
the Sidja looks messed up right now, but I assure you that this is working. Let's do a complete upgrade first. Then reboot the device. Now, if you are on a tether jailbreak and your device reboots, you will lose your jailbreak. So that's kind of annoying to do the whole process again to get your jailbreak back. Alright, let's double check if everything is working fine. So the Bluetooth is still on and Cydia is over here. And I know for sure it's 100% working. What I want to try out is the Bluetooth. So let's open up a blank note here. Then begin typing. And there we go guys. The Bluetooth is back. So that's it. Peace.